in every single one of Luffy's fights, there's something to be learned. There's something that Luffy learns about his abilities, about himself, to help him get over the hump. In his last fight with Kaido, he learned that Conquer's hockey, real hockey specifically, needs to be learned to bypass the defenses of Kaido and just in general give lasting damage on his opponents. So, for this video, we're going to talk about the possibilities of hockey that no one talks about. When he fought Kaido, <laughs> he pretty much couldn't do any type of damage at all. With we saw when he went gear for Bound Man, it just didn't do anything. It's, that's because he wasn't using Congress Hockey coding, let alone he wasn't using Rio. So we're not going to talk about Luffy versus Kaido, but I want to talk about what I believe Luffy must master in order to beat Kizaru. He has to master his observation hockey. <laughs> Kizaru is a speed monster. And with someone like Kizaru, he's going to have to do more predicting of his movements. It's not just somebody who's beat down like Kaido. It's interesting to me that Shanks had Kizaru sweating. And it's, I know the reason why. I truly, truly know the reason why Shanks had Kizaru sweating and why he was able to get the upper hand on him. Odo already told us. Odo told us that Shanks has observation hockey killing abilities. We see Shanks use a Wi Fi type of hockey to get Green Bull out of here, bro. Like, to spook. Green Bull away and Admiral will spook him away without even coming in direct contact with him. That is a form of hockey that we haven't even seen until Shanks showed it. So this conversation on hockey or just hockey in general, I think it still has a vast opportunity to be discovered because <laughs> Luffy is in gear five right now. And don't get me wrong, gear five is a, gear five is an effective transformation on anybody but Kizaru isn't too worried he has too much experience he's seen a lot he isn't too worried and I believe that the outlier for in game as far as getting the goals accomplished amongst the pirates or just getting to the one piece or becoming the apex predator in one piece the strongest or the pirate king Hockey is the most important thing. Roger showed us this. He didn't have a devil fruit. And in his current moment, I would say probably for narrative purposes, Luffy isn't using Conqueror's Hockey against Kizaru. I'm getting to these points because there is a reason. There is a reason that Shanks was able to make Kizaru sweat. Shanks' hockey is so strong that he can affect someone's breathing to where he cuts off their observation hockey. Now, Luffy won't be able to do this just quite yet, or maybe he may learn it against Kizaru, but... The fact that Kizaru isn't using all of his abilities, we haven't seen full power Kizaru, just goes to show that he has more speed and more powerful attacks. And Luffy is going to have to use this observation hockey develop this observation hockey to defeat Kizaru it's not just going to be just oh gear four and it's the ability like he's going to have to play he's going to have to fight more strategically so I think th this is an opportunity for him to improve his hockey and by the time he's finished doing this this is when he'll be ready to meet Shanks because Shanks can see 10 seconds into the future with observation hockey like shanks has the best hockey scene so far because truthfully what the story is really telling us that <laughs> devil fruits are important don't get me wrong they're they're really really important they're they're effective but the one with the most hockey with the strongest hockey with the strongest 
king's disposition will prevail over all. What if Gear 5 doesn't beat Kizaru? Let me tell you why. Kizaru is a speed monster. Luffy is going to have to use observation hockey against Kizaru in order to win. That's my, that's my belief. And I've already seen Luffy get s speed bum rushed by Kaido, who's not even as fast as Kizaru, in Gear 5. And I'm saying that because maybe Gear 5 right now, for Luffy, is too playful. Maybe he has to really calm down in Gear 5 to be able to use observation hockey because you have to be a calm, you have to think calmly. In order to use observation hockey at all times. We can talk about Katakuri. Everybody loves Katakuri. Katakuri is a beast that uses observation hockey. And that's when Luffy learned it. But he just learned the basic principles of it. But with Gear 5. Just the pure nature of Gear 5. What if he can't. What if right, what if right now he can't control the will of Gear 5 to not be so playful and to be able to calm down and use observation hockey so i kind of predict that <laughs> what if luffy gets most of his biggest blows without using gear five to catch kizaru off guard what if he's calm in base mode and using conquer's hockey coding attacks with observation hockey to catch kizaru something to really think about now luffy has the nika fruit which grants the user to pretty much do anything within their imagination, right? What if Luffy is able to find different and new ways to use his hockey because of his imagination and the, the essence and just the, what Gear 5 embodies? When he became the big old eating mouth against Luchi, what if he combines Congress hockey with that? We've seen him turn the landscape into rubber against Kaido but what if he just takes it to the next level and turn the landscape landscape into rubber while also infusing it with Conqueror's hockey you know there's so many I mean Luffy has a lot of Conqueror's hockey and he has his imagination is devil fruit like the possibilities of that is just amazing I don't think we're gonna may, who knows Oda may go that way with this or maybe he won't but I think it'll be amazing to see, okay, hockey being used to the best ability through Gear 5 with just unheard of, unseen creativity. Mihawk and the clairvoyance. Clairvoyance means the supernatural ability to see things in the future. Mihawk and clairvoyance are tied to each other. Oda tied clairvoyance to Mihawk. Specifically, Mihawk fought Shanks. I'm not here to fight. Not when you're half the man you <laughs> used to be. It's perfect. I mean, it's it's I literally it makes so much you. sense. It makes so much sense how the battle was so I'm legendary, even though it's unseen. <laughs> Whenever we see these panels, when he was fighting Mihawk, he was able to cut off his observation hockey somehow. Somehow mess up his breathing to make him cut off his observation hockey. So it was. One hell of a sword duel. So far, Shanks is the only one who can do that. So you see why it's so important, especially when it's gonna apply it to somebody like a speed monster like Kizaru. It's time for him to enhance and evolve his observation hockey. It's time for Luffy to do it. Like, Shanks one-shotted a kid from Observation Hockey. Thank y'all for watching this video, man. I hope this video sends you, send you into a deep spiral of One Piece possibilities. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking about all day as far as this hockey conversation. I'm thinking, like, why is he not using hockey? But I was like, okay, for narrative purposes, to build tension, he's not using it. But... I'll catch up, boys, next time. Mm -hmm.